This video will demonstrate the major improvements in integrated version 11.1 programs compared to 11.0 programs using the same model opened up in version 11.0 of Electro on the right and version 11.1 of Electro on the left. In version 11.0, Integrated added physics definitions to the model tree. In previous versions, it was necessary to assign and edit all physics individually to geometry. Now physics definitions such as shown here for a voltage definition are used instead. The applied physics branch of the tree is a list of definitions that can be applied to the model. Opening one of these definitions, we see properties that can be edited which then applies to all assigned geometry. This made the process of editing physics faster and much less prone to errors. However, user feedback for version 11.0 provided a list of improvements, and the structure of parametrics and the integrated API had not yet caught up to the new paradigm. Hence, version 11.1 was created mainly to improve the structure associated with the new physics definitions. This presentation will break that up into three sections the model tree, parametrics, and the integrated API. To start with model tree, in both versions, the message area shows some summary information about a model when you open it. This is a model that was recently saved from the latest version 11.0 and then reopened in both versions. In version 11.0, when I right-click on Applied Physics, you only see some inquire operations. However, in version 11.1, you can see that this functionality has been increased. There are now options such as scaling of multiple voltage definitions. You can do much common large scale editing without having to open all the definitions one by one. In version 11.0, to do something like inquire voltage, I would click on geometry to inquire and it gets highlighted in the model tree, but no summary information appears. So in version 11.1, if I choose the same operation, I can now not only see a definition highlight, but I, can, I also see a summary of that voltage definition in the message area. In version 11.0, if we look at a parametric setup in this model, the parametric works by modifying voltages on selected segments as per the old paradigm. It did not yet work with the model tree definitions. The parametric definition says we are going to use a voltage boundary and we are going to assign to selected geometry. By comparison, if I open the same thing in version 11.1, we see now we have a voltage parameter which is specifically for the magnitude of the voltage. Since this is an old model, voltage 3 was created for use with the parameter when the model was imported. Rather than having to select geometry to change the assignment, I can simply select another voltage from the list of definitions. I can also select geometry if I wish, but I can specifically choose from my existing objects and parametrically change the voltage of the definitions that are in the model tree. Previously, to run a validation of the parametric or to set up animation for a parametric, one would have to go back to the solution menu and run validation or put a check mark on create animation on off. In version 11.1, this is simplified by putting the operations right into the parametric setup dialog. There is now a button to run a validation and a checkbox for whether to create an animation for parametric plots. Another improvement made to the parametric has to do with materials. Previously, the only way to do a material parametric was to swap the material from the list in the material table. So one would have to create in the material table all variations of material wanted and then pick them off a list in the media materials. If we set up a material parametric in version 11.1, we can see that there are specific options such as assign material which reproduces what we did previously, but we can also parametrize a given material property. For example, to parametrize the relative permittivity of glass, I select it in the list and change it from some value to some value, like 2 to 4. I don't need to create multiple materials in advance anymore. The integrated API is the commands that you can run externally to control our software. We provide examples for how to do this. 
from Microsoft Excel macros, from Visual Studio projects, from MATLAB, and from Python. With the API, you can write your own custom utilities, and people have done some very advanced things with it. That is outside of the scope of this particular video. The API has to work with the functions that exist in the program. The structural change to the physics in version 11.0 would have stopped the physics functions from working. The priority for that version was to provide legacy support of existing API apps. A translation layer was created so all commands would create or edit model tree definitions. So the old structure is still functional even in version 11.1, but they don't naturally work with the new structure. In version 11.1, over a hundred new functions were created to work naturally with the model tree structure. These are not only easier to work with than the previous functions, but it is now complete. The old API functions did not include all physics. The new functions enable all operations that can be done in the model tree physics. The new functions are named with a different convention than what we used previously. This brings similar functionality together in alphabetized list such as the manual and code editor suggestions. Words like physics and voltage run together in the new structure. This says we want to do a physics voltage command and after physics voltage, we have an underscore followed by the operation. Operations will be something like create or delete, assign geometry, clear assign geometry, set colors, and so on. Now all physics voltages appear together and variations such as voltage difference and linear voltage also appear on the list along with it. In the old format, we would have physics underscore and then functions like add collector surface by number and so on. In the manual, this method was good for seeing what all my set options or delete options are. But in our experience, that's not the most useful thing. The most useful thing is that I want to know what all my voltage functions are, since I'm working with voltage. The new scheme will naturally put those together. In the old functions, we see that there were functions like delete 2D voltage, delete 2D voltage by segment. Now we are out of voltages, but if we rummage, we can see set 2D voltage by segment, set 2D voltage and so on. One needs to rummage a lot to find what all the old voltage functions are. There are miscellaneous other features that you can discover in version 11.1 and you can find those in the update release notes, but this video has focused on the big structural changes to physics.